published over 27 ebook collections. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, uh, it shows astronomy, behavioral sciences, energy, um, engineering, uh, food science, geography. You know, that, that's a huge uh, range of subject areas that, that we cover. And if you notice as well, we have like over 10 million different scientific documents, which is hosted on the Springer link, which is the database that holds all our books and our content, our journal articles. And also um, we publish or we hold about 324,000 um, books as well on Springer link. So let, let me now jump into uh, the topic of books. So first thing I'd like to give you is to give you the whole spectrum of books that we have in Springer. So let's start from the top. Um, we have what you call research monographs. Um, I hope many of you all in this room know what is a research monograph. Basically, it's a book that uh, publishers in a specific topic of, of a research area. Uh, so it's a very niche area. Uh, and then we have what you call followed by Springer Briefs. Um, Springer Briefs are basically, it's like a research monograph, uh, monograph but it's more concise. Uh, Springer Briefs, we have between pages 50 to 125 pages. But uh, for monographs, the number of the page count is much higher. So it's above like 200 pages. And then we have thesis as well. Uh, we also publish uh, uh, conference um, articles. Like for example, uh, we have all this uh, Springer uh, lecture notes, which is uh, known to publish conference articles. Um, we also have um, edited volumes for research monographs. And we, most importantly, we also have flagship books in certain research topics. Uh, flagship books, are mostly you have these handbooks. So for example, the, the example as shown below is handbooks of solar energy or, or handbook of nanotechnology. Uh, technology. And I think we have one book which is pretty famous is handbook of robotics. Uh, so these are all major reference works. So we publish handbooks encyclopedias and dictionaries as well. So these are books that basically cover a very broad topic, you know, like for example, solar energy is pretty broad, but we try to com cover it com comprehensively where we cover from the uh, beginning stage, uh, the very low level uh, understanding of solar energy to very advanced um, area as well within solar energy. So we are trying to cater to students, um, early researchers, and also professors, you know, who might be interested to know more about the research topic. Uh, we also publish textbooks. Uh, textbooks are also something that we do. Um, we have a very nice textbook program for graduate students. Uh, and we also publish professional books. So if you have a book in mind that it is um, which would which you find will be more interesting to the industry, for example, certain process or, or something. So we can also do it using a professional book. And I just want to talk about book series, you know, uh, just like journals. Uh, journals and book series are very similar in the sense that journals is actually a a uh, umbrella where it collects certain journal articles in a certain research topic. A uh, book series does the same. So instead of um, containing articles, journal articles, book series obviously contain book volumes. So book series is usually have a series editor and he is supported by an editorial board. And a book series, like, just like a journal, also have a very well-defined aims and scope and what is the purpose of the series is it to publish monographs is it to publish textbooks we have we have all this and it also focuses on specific topics and usually a monograph depends on how active the book series or the series editor or, or the field uh, we can publish up to two to four monographs a year we also have book series under uh, springer briefs as well This is a very um, typical journey of an academic book author. So there are two ways in which we 
uh, acquire book projects. Uh, one is the proactive way, and the other is the reactive way. The proactive way is whereby the author decides to write a book, and he will contact a Springer editor such, such as myself. The reactive way is the other way where Springer uh, identify a certain uh, book author or book editor who probably has published many, many journal articles in the field. And we decide you know, that this is the best person to write a, a research monograph or maybe a textbook in that field. So when whatever step, whether is it proactive or, or, or reactive, it always starts with developing a book proposal. So first thing we need to do is we need to submit a book proposal to Springer that will undergo a review process. A review process can be done through by submitting the proposal to a series editor who will review it. If the series editor finds that he's not able to review the book, then he will probably send it out to external reviewers. And once the book proposal is reviewed and we think that the content is fine and everything feels okay, then we will sign a publishing agreement. And within the publishing agreement, we will agree on whether, when will the manuscript be published, uh, be sent to Springer. Uh, we discuss about re remuneration, uh, royalties, uh, complementary copies, you know, and, and, and all the other details. And during and after the agreement is signed, the author writes the book, and maybe we give the author one year or maybe two years, depend on the book project. Uh, he goes on writing the book. And then the manuscript, once it's ready, is submitted back to Springer. Springer looks at the manuscript, make sure that it is scientific sound and it, it is the manuscript that we have uh, tentatively agreed upon or we have discussed during the proposal stage. And then once we're happy with the manuscript, it is sent to production. Production means typesetting, copy editing, author proofing, very similar to journals. And then once the book is published, then we market the book. We have a Springer website for the book. Uh, you as the author editor can also go and uh, um, advertise for the book at conferences, at workshops, and, 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 and things like that. Um, so what is the motivation? Why do we write books? Um, Obviously, the, the first reason is to pass knowledge to future generation, especially if you are a renowned scientist who have written many articles in different, different journals. You like to compile everything into one form book. This is a good way. Uh, of course, it's to build reputation, career advancement, to raise awareness of your expertise in the field. Um, and also, personal achievement or the last reason is, you know, it's a requirement by the department for you to write books. Um, it's also to change opinion. Uh, this is, I think, more towards the, the social sciences to change opinions or, you know, and financial gains or maybe a research funding uh, requirement. You know, at the end of the project, you have to have a book. Um, so when you write a book, you have to decide on what kind of book you want to write. So it covers between a book with a broad scope, like handbooks, encyclopedias, to a book with a narrow scope, which is like research monographs, or even like uh, Springer Breeze, for example. So you have to decide on this, what kind of book do you want to write? You have to decide or as well as on the target audience. So when you submit a book to Springer, so what do we look at? First thing, as a Springer editor, I'm looking for a cutting edge original research, you know, um, we also want to make sure there's a strong theoretical background in the literature. There is a international or regional appeal. Um, and also there's, it's a hot area. You know, there's always ongoing debates in the academic field. And also the, the, the proposal is very careful and considered proposal. The table of content is, is well balanced. Or if it's an edited volume, the list of contributing authors is international. And we also want to make sure that the book, book will connect with the, connects very well with the clear audience. Like, is it the book for um, advanced researchers, or is this book mainly for professionals, or is this the book for students? So when submitting a book proposal form, what, what do you need? 
first thing you need is an author CV. This is very important. Uh, we need to know the background of the author and the expertise that he has, you know, to make sure that he has the capability to write a book. Uh, a very well drafted concept note. Uh, you need to give maybe uh, a, a table of content. If you have sample chapters, that will be, that, that, that will be good as well. Uh, and of course, you have to go through review process for, for all the edited volumes. And important thing is also to have keywords, key audience, and also talk about competing titles. You know, some of the books, uh, they have already competing titles out there. And of course, the proposal will, will undergo, as I mentioned, internal review. And if it's needed, we will also send it to uh, external reviewers. So these are professors who are also experts in your field. We will send it to them. Uh, we'll make it anonymous. Uh, and, and, and based on your comments, we will also decide. And of course, we go through discussions about how to improve the proposal. For example, the title, maybe it is not um, it's too long, we have to make it more precise and concise, and then we will offer the contract. Um, these are very, um, some do's and don'ts when submitting a proposal. Um, I don't want to go too much detail because I have more slides to cover. Uh, I can go through even more, but this is actually, I'm, I'm listing my, my, my job. So basically, when I receive a proposal, these are the questions that I ask myself, you know, things about the title, the subtitle, the abstract, the keywords, you know, because all the thing that we have to think about is to make sure that this book, the title delivers the main topic of the book. It has to be clear. And we cannot use too vague, generic thing, uh, uh, phrases, uh, even though it's eye-catching, but, you know, we need to make it more uh, straightforward. And um, so these are very, very important points, which I think I, I don't have so much time to go through at the moment. So I'm going to be quick and move it to the, to the next slide. Um, so these are the typical timelines uh, from proposal stage to publication. This is typical. Uh, sometimes it takes longer than that. And I know sometimes it frustrates authors. Uh, this also happens in journal publications, whereby sometimes review take process takes longer than we expect. But uh, this is just a snapshot of the timeline. As you can see, review process sometimes takes four to 10 weeks for the proposal. And then more important thing is when you when your manuscript go through a production process, it can take between four to six months, you know, and the ma manuscript review time can, depends. It can also take maybe eight weeks to, to 12 weeks as well. Uh, to decide on a publisher, you know, it's very important uh, to choose a publisher with a very reputable, uh, 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 yeah, you know, in, in the field. You don't want to work with the wrong publisher. Uh, so most people come back to Springer or come back to me because they have very, very good uh, experience. And a lot of them come back to us because they want to publish like open access books. Or sometimes Springer always give, uh, you know, to track the book, the usage of the book. The, the, the royalties, the number of um, uh, um, copies are sold, or even indexing. We, a lot of Springer titles is indexed in Scopus. So uh, that, that is also a plus point for us. I just want to talk about open access very quickly. Open access, Springer published a white paper in open access, and we found that um, overall, compared to a non-open access book, there are about seven times more downloads for the book. In terms of citations, there's 50% more citations for an open access book compared to a non-open access book. And even on social media, you know, uh, there are more mentions compared to a non-open access book, obviously because people have more access to your book content. However, when you publish op open access, there are some bad guys out there, some bad people. So make sure you submit your book to the right publisher. And of course, Springer, we have uh, information for our book authors and editors. So we have a lot of resources online. Please go to our, our website and look for information for book authors and editors. Uh, just want to promote uh, some book 
uh, series that you have with, uh, with Springer. Uh, I think you all know this uh, book series, The Composite Science and Technology. The series editor is Javid. Uh, it is also advertised on the uh, conference website. Thank you very much. So as you can see that we publish um, many books within the topic of this conference. So um, if you're interested, please uh, go to this website link or talk to Javid or me. Uh, we have a new book series coming up, uh, Sustainable Materials and Technology. Uh, it's also edited by uh, um, Javid and his uh, colleague, Anish Khan. Uh, so these are the topics that we cover. It's, I know it's really, really small, but as you can see, it's Sustainable Materials Technology. So it talks about uh, basically uh, making materials more sustainable, which is the main topic of this, of this conference. Uh, we have also other related books within the Springer collection within this conference. So uh, please uh, go to springer.com and, and if you need this list, just let me know. Uh, I ran out of time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I took one minute more, but thank you. Thank you, everybody. And do send in your book proposals or just drop me an email if you have any questions about publishing or journal thank publishing. You, thank you, Ramesh, uh, giving a very good overview about the Springer uh, Publishing Natures, how you are publishing the different types of books huh? yeah. and how the processing and all this thing. Thank you so much. We are highly thankful on behalf of Bite Palma that uh, anybody have any quick questions, uh, uh, please ask that one because we are already running out of time. So if any quick question, we can take one or two questions. If no question, directly reach to the Ramesh and publish the book, you know. <laughs> uh, we are happy to entertain and the Ramesh good thing is that one in this conference you have a lot of uh, editors of your book are here you know I know uh, this yes yes yeah, I did. yeah. Uh, uh, Prof Kaj from Morocco is here Ramzi is a new editor from Tunisia yes. uh, Midani is from uh, what you call that from uh, Egypt Prof Osman from Saudi Rachid from the Morocco so there are a few Editors of your book is already here. They already contributed a few books in my series or before also in other series, you know. Okay, because that's we good. already done the, we have a relationship with you from, I think it's 2014-15, uh, we are working together, you know. So it's almost okay. more than seven years we are working together with the Springer yeah. Nature. Uh, before Springer Nature, you know, basically we have <laughs> Springer Nature come in 15. So we working before as a Springer, you know, uh, without nature, we are working on that one. And also the, uh, on, on uh, behalf of organizing committee, I also want to thank to you for uh, what we call that's the uh, announcing the prize from the Springer, you know. So we are using your book prize to give the best presenter and the best poster in this conference. And later on, we can discuss how the prize will go to the winner that is I and you we can later on discuss with that one but sure. today we are announcing the winner on the basis of the evaluation we done on different session so uh, we are highly thankful for you uh, for giving a prize to our winners is sponsored by the Springer Nature yeah my, my so pleasure if no question no problem that uh, we will look forward your proposal so you come to the Ramesh or you come to me we are free to discuss on the a new proposal, but nowadays we want the quality books, you know, that is our main things are that one. The proposal must be good and also the quality to maintain that one. So we are looking forward. If you have any new thoughts or any idea, you feel that no book is available and you have networking, you know, you have very good networking. You can bring the 15 to 20 chapters on the related topics. We welcome you. So we will guide you. Don't worry about the guidance. Guidance, I and Ramesh can guide you. Uh, we will share the proposal form to you. And we can, in the process, we can edit, uh, we can comment on your proposal. When you submit the proposal, we can comment with that one. We directly don't reject your proposal. So first is suggest some changes, something that one. And if suitable, we can take it that one. If um, as there is some issue, but hopefully, I mean, that most of the time we try to accommodate, but if there is a major issues or something flaws are there, then we are unable to publish that book proposal, that one. So thank you again.